everyone welcome back to my channel today i am showing you the week of saint patrick's day so march 15th through the 21st and i'm going to be using press press's cyber monday kit which she called breakfast club and i'm not a huge saint patrick's day fan but i love all the little rainbow elements and that is just your kind of oops um fun spring pastel but bright kind of kit so I'm excited to use this and I think it'll just be a fun twist for St. Patrick's Day so it's very like planner girl breakfast and I love the bottom washi I actually already pre-cut it because I have um the washi or 15 millimeter add-on I think I'm only using one of these extra boxes I'm a huge fan of these girls, in my personal opinion. Just flipping through the kit. And I love this color. That purple is so pretty. Then I'm just um, adding in one little like pink hollow overlay because I'm using nine boxes. And then the kit actually came with this matching foil bundle in sparkly hollow foil. And it's so, so pretty. So it's like a rainbow luxe. So there's the full box overlays, the washi overlays, scripts, hole punch that I won't be using, some header overlays, and her super cute icons. So I have a lot to work with. I feel like I'm a little nervous because I don't typically do like full foil bundles like this but I'm also really excited because I think it will help make it really festive and fun with all the rainbows so let's see how it will turn out hello again I am back with my voiceover so uh, I am just loving how this spread turned out um I wasn't sure when I first got it in the mail. I was excited and really hopeful, but like, I just love how it laid down. Anyways, so I decided to cut the bottom washi in half. I love the tie dye print, but um, the kit came with the 15 millimeter in the lavender color, and I really, really wanted to include that, especially with the overlay um, foil. So I already pre-cut that and I put on these sparkly hollow date dots that are actually from Crest Press um, last year, at, a couple months ago, I can't remember. I feel like it was like last end of last summer, Crest Press came out with these really, um, it was like a misfit date cover. So I was trying to say they're really inexpensive. Because she ac accidentally added a couple extra 28s. I don't know. To me, it was like no big deal. To I think a lot of people, it was no big deal. But of course, with being a shop and putting out the best, um, that would be considered a misfit. So anyways, I stocked up and I got them in every single foil color, including Sparkly Hollow, which I never do. Um, but it was just such a good price might as well. So I already put those on before and I am thinking about, speaking of Caress Press foil, I'm thinking of um, buying, she has a lot of her mystery kit foil bundles on sale and they are on a really good price. So I think I might pick up a couple of those just to get some foil bundles with like budget friendly price. I am not like super duper I have a little foil collection but as you can see I don't do bougie boxes and I rarely do header overlays I did it for this spread but it's like it's extremely rare um but it's just such a good deal it's like two three four dollars for like a mini bundle I don't know anyways you might see that in a future haul but this week, I decided to lay the glitter headers off camera because, again, it just kind of becomes a little long. But I decided to cut out the yellow color, and that 
is shocking because normally I cut out the pink color, but I felt like the pink was a really crucial part of this kit. And the yellow I just felt was a little bit of the weak link, in my personal opinion. But I really need to try to switch up. This would have been the perfect kit to like mix up the glitter headers and not do the same color per row. But I just didn't even think about it because this is just my norm. But I really, really want to try that again because I did it for a little bit and then I stopped and need to give it a second chance but um yeah I typically just choose three colors also because there's always one color I don't like like a pink color or I don't know if a kit comes with white or really really light glitter headers to me those are kind of pointless colors in a kit I don't know let me know down below if you share that opinion I'm not sure if it's an unpopular planner opinion or a popular shared thought of like really light colors in a kit are do they help do they balance it out or do you find them kind of being more pointless colors I'd be really interested to know I know SPC uses lighter shades a lot and it typically steers me away from buying a kit because I'm such a vibrant color person but, um, yeah, so then I'll, if I see another shop use that artwork, then I'll typically buy it from them. But that is totally my personal preference and opinion. So it'd be really interesting to know if other people share that too. Anyways, I'm laying down the um, overlays here. And again, I never, like, I should add that I don't ever do it on full boxes either. It's very rare. Sometimes I'll do, like, one for my sidebar. So this was like a very sparkly kit or yeah, weak spread, whatever the word is, but I really, really loved it. And the kind of rainbow luxe pattern, it's just one of those foils that like if I didn't use it with this kit, I honestly don't know which kit I would use it with. I'm personally not like a luxe print planner person. I know that is probably an unpopular planner opinion, but that's that's just me. I'm not really a luxe person in real life. Um, but let's see. I kind of did the sidebar. It was a really kind of choppy. I was watching Love Island while doing this, and I kept on getting distracted and pausing for long times or stuff like that, so... Yeah, I kind of did the sidebar on my own and it was really rough. So sorry about that. I kept on peeling up and repositioning. I, The foil kit included these little Lux washi strips, but there was only two of them. So you can see I kind of placed it the top and bottom around my little highlight of the week box because I wanted to use them, but it was really hard to figure out how and where. <laughs> And then, of course, I grabbed a highlight sticker from the Fruity Sticker Co., which that took a really long time to decide the right color. Also, don't mind my nails. I'm realizing now in this voiceover that I have two nails that I completely peeled off. <laughs> so don't mind that. I typically get um, gel or shellac nails just because they're more durable and I feel like with teaching it and just I do a lot of stuff like with my hands like cooking and um, like projects and stuff and um, it just works the best to have gel or shellac to make it worthwhile but I felt like they were kind of ruining my nails and my nails were getting really thin so I'm taking a break for a couple months I think until like June and that's kind of big but it will be really good for my nails they need it and my wallet will thank me so I'm just adding in some extra foil deco up to the top and I feel like this helps a ton especially with bigger deco items like um, the deco that was in this kit so I was really excited to use that and I don't have too much pre-planning for the week, so I figured I would just kind of end it with a kind of currently loving Q&A. 
So I have five things, which I kind of already answered one of them, but I figured it'd be fun maybe once a week or once a month to kind of go over some things I'm currently loving. So I'll go over my favorite show, which I already touched on, is Love Island UK. They don't have new seasons. This is just me re-watching old seasons. I'm currently watching season three. If you've ever watched Love Island UK, let me know. I binged all the seasons last year at the beginning of quarantine, and so this is like a really fast turnaround to rewatch, but just needed something lighthearted in my life. So let me know if you've ever watched that show. And um, another currently loving, I want to do food, and that would have to be fruit. Right now, the fruit is so good, and I'm loving sumo oranges. They're like the really giant oranges that the they have I don't even know how to describe it It almost looks like a pear shape up at the top they're really thick peels but really easy to peel and they taste so good they're a little spendy but totally worth it I'm obsessed with them another thing I'm currently loving for um, planner items is hands down has to be my sugar pop fizz doodles I have already like raved about this shop so much, but now that I have two orders and doodles um, from all the samplers she gives out, because she always gives out a sampler for, I've ordered both during sale orders, so she'll give out one for the sale sampler, and then you can get often a $15 plus like tiered freebies. And you can add on a freebie from one of her PR girls. So in combination of all of those and then the ones I've ordered, I just have like a little collection and I'm just obsessed with using them. They're so cute. You'll see I use some of them this week and especially for the St. Patrick's Day, which I'll go over in a little bit. Um, I just love them. So that's my favorite currently loving planner item. For currently loving music, I recently, well, not maybe not recently, a couple months ago, found the artist Jake Scott on Spotify, and I really should not recommend music because I barely listen to music. It's so rare. I don't have that long of a commute, and obviously I just started commuting again, and I'm a really kind of weird person, and I love to listen to the radio like <laughs> the just the random phone calls or they do like things called like second date updates or something along those lines where they follow up with people like why they aren't contacting the person back I don't know I find that stuff way more amusing so I often just end up listening to that stuff and skip around during the commercials and yeah. So anyways, back to Jake Scott. Found him on Spotify. So if I ever am listening to music right now, that is who I'm listening to. He's like a, your typical indie, chill, I don't know how to describe music. So I'm just going to leave it there. But he's really good. I recommend giving him a listen. He's just a really easy listen. And then one thing that I'm currently loving for... Um, let's do YouTuber. I did not have this planned out very well. I just kind of thought of it on the spot. Yeah, show, food, planner, item, music, YouTuber. That sounds about good. Top five, currently loving. Um, my favorite YouTuber right now has to be Emma K. Plans. She is an Australian sticker lover, connoisseur, whatever you want to call it. She's awesome. She keeps it real and it's amazing. I love her giant hauls and all her spreads and she just has a really fresh take on everything because she's just so real so I love that okay skipping back to my plans for work this week I marked it with the work labels from the foil bundle and then little munchkins from once more with love with the cute little backpacks and the backpacks are lavender and yellow I mean it could not have matched perfectly more perfectly it was awesome and then on Wednesday, I'm just kind of marking my meetings and whatnot. And of course, St. Patrick's Day and that little rainbow is from a sampler from Sugar Pop Fizz. And the St. Patrick's Day script is from Letters to Apollo. 
I love the size of that, um, her holiday samplers this year. And I am marking my pre-observation on Friday that I will have my observation next week with my principals, which is always no fun at all, but just something you have to do. I understand. And then my other meetings. And then right now I'm marking the bachelor finale on Monday and I really love how that this turned out. I kind of did some stacking, I guess. So the icon was in the middle. And um, the little roses are from Plana Hannah. And they're so cute. And then the bachelor script is also from Plana Hannah. It's bachelorette, but I always cut off the et. And yeah, not an eventful finale. If you watch that, you know it was a waste of time but I'll leave it there. And then on Wednesdays, I watch Married at First Sight and I marked that little couch. Um, oh, let's see. That couch, yeah, is from the foil bundle. So I think that about ends my pre-planning. Okay, so this is my final spread. I just need to fill in the final box for tonight. I'm filming this Sunday afternoon, but I will try to give a little wiggle. There is so much sparkly hollow foil on here um it all came with the bundle as you already saw but i tried to maximize it and use it to its fullest and i feel like i really did and it was super fun i love how this spread turned out i really love the colors and everything and i feel like all my um character stickers the tones really really matched so i am just really obsessed with it I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. Leave me a comment down below what kit you use for St. Patrick's Day week. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye everyone.